the Darbot Ghost Pepper with cheese. They do not food here, and we're back again with another spicy review. This time, we've got the Ghost Pepper with cheese from Daibok. These are the black noodles, similar to what we had before that were just the ghost pepper flavored stuff, which is really actually pretty spicy. So I'm hoping we get something similar with this. Um, I'm guessing it's probably the same level and the cheese, maybe it'll just cut the spice a little bit. I don't know though. They're really saying adjust your spicy level, caution. They want people to know this thing is hot. And it is with the spicy chicken flavor as well. So this is actually ghost pepper cheese, spicy chicken flavor. Let's just get it going. We'll see how hot it is. Let's see how it compares to the regular ghost pepper stuff from Daibok. And actually, I like that other stuff, so hopefully it's similar. All right, so I'm gonna just do this in the microwave. You remove the lid completely, remove the little packs, the satchels that come with it, the seasoning, and then you microwave it after you fill it up to the pour line for about three minutes. And once you have done that and cooked it for three minutes in the microwave, you wanna drain it. I'll leave uh, about two or three tablespoons of water. Then you add your seasoning cheese powder and control the spicy level adjusting ghost pepper oil to your liking. So they want to make sure you know this stuff is going to be hot. So I'm expecting it to be just as hot as the other stuff was. You got this thing open. You got all the stuff out. They have these cool little packaging uh, like icons on it. And they do this where it's actually like caution, ghost pepper oil. So you be very careful with that because that is where the heat's going to be. This stuff is the cheese and then we got the sauce, which I'm guessing is just like the chicken flavor and everything. So let's get to it. You just microwave it for three minutes though. All right, we'll check back in three minutes. We got the noodles all cooked and microwaved. They look just wild, these black noodles, every time I eat them, but they were very tasty. I guess I just add everything now. Doesn't look like there's any other special steps. Just add it all and mix it up. All right, let's get to it. This is the spicy chicken sauce. Final touches of the heat. The spicy chicken sauce is already getting my mouth watering, so I'm excited. Add the whole thing. Let's mix it up and let it sit for a little bit and we will give it a taste test. All right, guys, this stuff looks ready to rock. I don't know if I mixed up the cheese well enough, so there might be some chunks of it, but everything else is mixed up and let's get to tasting. And we have the Daibok Ghost Pepper with cheese chicken flavored noodles. These are those black dry noodles that we've had before with just a regular ghost pepper. And I got these as a two pack. I've just been waiting to try this. The original was really spicy. This looks pretty spicy based on all the stuff I've added and the ghost pepper oil and everything. And it smells spicy. I don't know how much the cheese is gonna actually cut the spiciness of this. So let's just see how spicy this actually is. I always love the color of these, man. These black noodles, these look so cool. Let's see, let's get a big old, oh yeah, look at that, it's still steaming. Let's get a big old taste of this stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, the flavor is so good with this stuff. You get the chicken spicy flavor, and then the spice really hits you. That ghost pepper chili oil is not playing around. I'm already hiccuping, and it gives me that same kind of Want to just keep eating that I get from ghost pepper. So let's just keep digging in. So far, this is rivaling the first one. Nice spicy chicken flavor in there. And the cheese is adding to it, but it doesn't seem to be cutting the spice that much. That's up there again. I don't know, man. I'd probably give it about a seven or an eight, honestly. Like for instant noodles, Daibok with their ghost pepper stuff, one of the hottest I've had. And it instantly makes me hiccup. And I'm getting, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm perspiring, I'm having trouble speaking even. So, they're coming with the spice for real. 
I'm gonna go with an eight out of 10 on these. The Diebot Gush Pepper Cheese Spicy Chicken Flavor. Cheese does cut it a little bit, but it's still coming with that heat. I'm sweating. I like it. It'd be another good one if I see it on sale or see it when I'm looking for instant ramen. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.